Hello there, my name is Paul, and welcome back to part two of George Orwell's Animal Farm. I don't know why I said part two questioningly. I did just record the last part about like five minutes ago. <laughs> welcome to part two of George Orwell's Animal Farm. Last time, we overtook the farm. Jones is out of here. We overtook the farm. We found the cruel realities of being in Animal Farm once we walked into the home and found a steamed cooked ham on the table. There, there's a lot of things in this that, is, that are just terrifying, but it's time to continue. So let's see who has anything to say about that. We'll easily do better than he did. So we either complain we worry, or what are... Oh, those are the only two options we have. Uh, let's go ahead and worry. The cows have not been milked since yesterday. You can tell they don't appear to be in good health. As for milking, a pig can manage as well as a farmer. What is going to happen to all that milk? Jones used some... T uh, used some... Wait, Jones used sometimes? Jones used sometimes to mix some of it in our mash. Okay, that, I, for a game that was made with the Orwell estate, that feels like broken English. <laughs> that doesn't feel entirely correct. Hope. One day we'll go to our own calves. And we don't need milking at other times. And all our eggs will grow into chicks. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps. Let's make it a point of honor to get the hay in faster than Jones and his men. Food we gather will feed us throughout the year. And in the autumn, we'll need enough in the storehouse for planting. All right. So, I think some of the animals want work, if I remember correctly. Specifically, I remember this donkey being really upset in the book, I think. Either because he had work when he didn't want it, or because he didn't have work when he wanted it. And I think it's due to his age. I Benjamin grumble, grumbles while he helps. Yeah, he adds work when he doesn't want it. <laughs> I was like, it's one of the two. He either doesn't like to work or he just, you know, couldn't work. But he does bring in as much hay as anyone else his size. Here, <laughs> let me. Boxer and I always used to do these together. With Clover's hard work, there is more hay in the store. I'm ready to help. Boxer throws himself into the work. He brings twice as much hay to the hay store as anyone else. But whenever he works too hard, Boxer's strength fades. If you overextend yourself too often, you'll ruin your lungs. You should rest when you're tired. Okay. Oh, he only argues with me. The farm needs me. When animals are sick, they can't do anything at all. So be careful. So now he wants to do more work. And that will bring in more hay. But it will decrease his health. Remember, I am, in this instance, communist. Wait, I shouldn't probably say that. <laughs> I am, in this instance, looking for my own benefit. That's better. <laughs> uh, maybe I should have other people work. Who are you? Cooperate. Work. Halt? 
What did the sheep do? We know our part. <gasps> no one sheep is very strong or very bright, but when the whole flock takes action, they accomplish something all the same. The stores are full now. That will do. The animals work hard all day long. Oh, more dialogue. The hay store is full to overflowing. The animals themselves are happy, but exhausted. Comrades, you have done well. Very well indeed. We cannot always expect that things will be as easy as they have been today. Before we face any real trials, we must convene a meeting. We will all, we will need laws to govern Animal Farm. <laughs> Together, they name the seven laws of animalism. Oh fuck, I remember the seven laws of animalism. Well, actually, I remember the concept of the seven laws of animalism. Do I remember the seven laws of animalism? No, but that's because I'm not an animal and therefore it would not be <laughs> useful to me. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> the first law says, Whatever goes on two legs is an enemy. <clears throat> oh, I would be concerned if I was a chicken. <laughs> and what about wings? Mm, wings are like legs. You do not have hands, and hands are how the humans do their mischief. The second law says, whatever goes on four legs or has wings is a friend. What about the rats? We have four legs. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> but you're always needing to be chased off. Old M Major considered us to be Old Major considered rats to be comrades. He invited them to the meetings. We will vote. Should the rats be allowed to stay? Oh God, I have influence over this. I can either say yes, yes, no, both. <laughs> the cat's like, yo, shit. And they should absolutely stay, but also <laughs> side glance over to the rats. You know, I do get hungry in my spare time. <laughs> yes. I want to see what both gives me. I'm sorry, rats. I'm so fucking sorry. <laughs> the cat votes for the rats to stay. Then she votes for the rats to be sternly dealt with. Someone else should be the tiebreaker, since the cat can't agree with herself. In the end, the rats were allowed to say. <laughs> After the meeting, Squealer begins painting the new laws on the wall of the barn. Wait, was that it? I wanted to see all the laws, not just the first two. I wanted to see all of them. <laughs> These laws come to us from old major and from our own difficult experience. Commit them to memory. Okay, so no animal shall wear clothes. No animal shall sleep in a bed. Uh, no animal shall drink alcohol. No animal shall kill any other animal. All animals are equal. The fact that all animals are equal is the seventh of these commandments is a little disconcerting. I feel like that should be like the first one. Not like the afterthought at 7th? Like if freedom of speech wasn't the first, like the, the first one, I'd be very, very concerned for the state of things. <laughs> I'd feel like, you know what? Some of these seem more important than the others. Can we like bring it up? And also why is our commandments? around the skull of what I'm assuming to be old major. This is terrifying. <laughs> ah. Sheep, are you troubled? There are too many to remember. Making efforts. It may be slow learning, but worthwhile. 
Okay. Oh, I can inv individually inspect each one. I can leave and I can question. Ooh. Whatever walks upon two legs is an enemy. Oh no, he'll just sort of explain it to me. I don't actually get new dialogue. Okay, okay, okay. So that's just in case you can't read whatever their weird writing is. Question. Is that a tablecloth? It is a flag, green, to represent the green fields of England. The hoof and horn signify the future republic of animals. Okay. Is there anything else worth noting here? I... Old Major Skull will watch over us. And at the moment, he'd wish us to go back to work. We still can't remember the laws. Here's a simpler version. Four legs good, two legs bad. Four legs good, two legs bad. Exactly. Understand that and you understand the laws. Four legs good. Practice in your own field. This is the beginning of animalism on the farm. Every animal is committed to the principles set down by Old Major. If anyone forgets, the chanting of the sheep will remind them. Okay. Lowest animalism. Grumble. That's how I feel. <laughs> Chant. Bask. Direct. I'm so confused by what's going here. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. So... I'm a little bit confused by what's going on here. So I think the... He's grumbling about the rules that are now in place. And doing that brings down the farm? I'm assuming it brings down the general mood, but it makes our friend feel better. If you chant, it brings up the mood. If I direct or if I bask, it'll do the same thing. I think the, the most appropriate thing here to do is crumble. <laughs> It's easy to tell people that their lives will be better. But what has truly changed? Some time later, the animals discover what is happening to the milk. Oh no. It is being mixed into the pig's feed. Oh no. All animals are supposed to be equal. Why is our milk going to the pigs alone? Comrades, this is for the good of everyone. The pigs' work is brain work. They need their strength to help us all. doubt all animals all animals are supposed to be equal four legs good but we are hungry the dogs have nine puppies nine that's a lot I can't imagine having one kid but I mean, I can definitely imagine having nine, nine puppies, so I'd be okay with that. Napoleon immediately claims them from their mothers. I will be responsible for their education. Bring them up to the loft. Approve? You're gonna approve of this? I wouldn't. 
<laughs> I'd be like, nah. We're not approving anything. Oh, worry. Wouldn't it be better to keep them down here? A young dog needs to learn to know it's back. Comrade Napoleon, we'll see that they have the best possible training. Napoleon knows best. The sheep wake in the morning. Today, we could do anything. Organize, chant, patrol. Oh, there's a there's a certain amount of resources. I think right now it's overflowing. So we have more than enough food that people don't have to work. But eventually that food will become depleted. I'm assuming. Okay. So harvesting means nothing. Chanting will increase morale, but decrease our food. Patrolling will decrease our food, but keep us safe. And no animalism. I still don't know what this is. I'm kind of, I'm tempted to click it. Oh. I can't click it. <laughs> Never mind! Uh, we're gonna do patrol. <laughs> Keep watch for the animals who do not belong here. Or any lurking humans who might be looking over the walls. Ah! Go. The hay store is full and the animals are content. We should eat. Yes, food. Very good supply. Okay, see now we're running uh, a little bit lower on food. So we can either feast, which I imagine with a word like feast will greatly decrease our food. Uh, distribute, which will increase morale and lower food. Or ration, which will lower morale, but keep our food. Okay. Uh... I don't wanna, I don't wanna feast, but at the same time, I know that's something I would do. Let's go! <laughs> Comrades, enjoy the fruits of your hard work. Our, our efforts ought to be rewarded. The birds wake early. Oh yeah, that, that significantly decreased our work, our food. Benjamin wakes up, ready to begin the day. What shall I do? <laughs> Low animalism, decent supply, work, defend, grumble, <laughs> uh, rest, study, guard. I think working is probably important right now. <laughs> work needs to be done, I suppose. And there's still some strength in the muscles. At the Sunday meetings, the animals argue amongst themselves about how to run the farm. Okay. Uh, comment, rest, defend, repairs. Oh, that's an important one. Uh, anyone else have to talk? Sing! Oh my god! The tiniest bird! It just wants to sing! <laughs> Oh, so tempted. So tempted to do that. Oh, I think repairs is the most pressing issue. I want to hear you sing, little bird. But first, I want to see if the I have to get the important stuff out of the way. <laughs> Who will build something next? Okay, so we got stables. Again, stables will lower the food supply. Barn? Halt farmhouse. <sighs> I think a stable would be good for them. 
Mm, a barn would be good for the chickens. A farmhouse. Okay. The farmhouse ne needs mending. We'll build something next. Uh... I guess stables? The stable is going to freeze all the horses. We'll build something next. Uh, uh, good question. The barn? Uh oh, we need, we already need food. Fix the barn roof, it's getting too drafty. the sables again we need the sable roof to be sound who will build something next uh nobody except for you i guess no nobody nobody else who particularly needs anything no doesn't look like it that just says low animalism oh i'm an idiot that's the current morale <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> We're at low animalism! I should have realized that's what that was! It wasn't something I could do! It was an indication of what their morale was! Okay. That will suffice. Summer progresses, and the fields darken to gold. Morning wakes up the cows. What shall I do today? Good question, cow. <laughs> I'm not really sure. <laughs> well, you know what I am sure of? The fact that we'll do this on the next episode. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. I love this game so far. <sighs> For anybody who's currently watching the video, my name is Paul. I am a variety streamer over on Twitch.tv, and I upload to YouTube five days a week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please subscribe. Go follow me on Twitch, and also go join the Discord. That's that's gonna be it for me today. I don't I don't know how to end videos. Um, I love you. Bye. <laughs>